All right, guys, so before I start this video, let's go ahead and pick today's comment winner. Let's dig through the bag here. Oh, what are we gonna grab? What are we gonna grab? Bam. All right, oh, this is pretty sweet. All right, today's winner is going to win a 3.5 inch jointed sunfish swim bait. Pretty freaking sweet. And of course, as always, a Adam Ryan decal. So that is today's winner. Let's go pick a comment. I'm glad you were using the ladder frame and I'm glad I haven't started mine yet because I would have probably used wood first. Aaron Wright. All right, my man, you are the winner of today's giveaway. But guys, you can use wood on a drum boat. You just gotta be very careful. Can't go too heavy. But uh, guys, let's start the video. Here we go. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? What is going on guys and welcome back to another video today. It is a new day. I love new days. It feels like a whole new fresh start. A whole new day to be productive. But today we are going to test out these waterproof boxes that we made in the last video. Gonna fill them up with water. Make sure they don't leak. Make sure they're waterproof. Because that's what they are. Waterproof boxes. Hopefully I got it right the first time. But if there's any leaks I'll just have to fill up the gap with some uh, more sealant. Oh, oh, this side's leaking. All right, so I need to fill up this crack. I think the other sides are all good. All right, next box. That was the first box I did. Hopefully I got better by the second and third box, but we'll see. Oh, I already see that rivet right there leaking. No. Rivet over here is leaking as well. Darn it. It's these dang rivets that broke off in the wrong spot, causing me issues here. Oh, this one's leaking bad. Holy crap. Just need to add a little bit more glue to those spots, and then they will definitely be waterproof after that. Let's go ahead and dump all this water. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry in the sun for a bit, and then I will add some glue to those. But while that dries, let's go ahead and take out the last two back decks. It shouldn't be too hard. Just undo a few screws, undo some wiring, and then it's done. I mean, there's not much to this back deck or the floor, really. Got to take off all of these rod holders. That's what's holding this floor in. So this floor should be free now. Oh yeah. How do we look? Still looks great. That's where I put that freaking weight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so there's the floor. How's the back look? Still looks good. Still solid. Spider check, don't see any. So for this next build, I'm gonna be using pour foam, not these noodles. We're upgrading everything. All right, three pool noodles if anyone needs them. Oh, the fish finder. I only got to use once. How sad. Back hatches, which I've never installed hinges on. I did the first time, but once they broke off, I said, screw it. I mentioned how the hinges was literally the worst part of doing a boat build. That is why I did not put hinges on these back doors whenever I had to rebuild the back deck. So I got a lot of comments of how I secured the deck to the boat. And I'll show you how I did that right here. If I can get this battery box off. There we go. So on my boat, there is a deck frame and then the top deck. But on the frame, I just screwed two screws right here into the transom. Same thing over here, two screws. And that is how this frame is stuck to the boat you can see i am moving the entire boat it is secure and then what i did to attach the deck to the frame was there's two hidden screws i won't be able to find them 
but there's hit oh maybe right here there's two hidden screws so there's a flap in the carpet right here and there's a screw here and a screw over there so that is what keeps this deck down to the frame it's all screwed together it's all secure but how i did the flooring is i just attached self-tapping screws to each of the ribs and then also had the rod holders over the floor and that helped hold down the floor and then the front deck it was such a tight fit and under the slip that it did not need to be secured down it was so tight that thing did not move at all that's just kind of how i built it but it never moved so i didn't have to secure it down all right let's get this back deck off freaking hidden screw somewhere it has to be on the edge I think it's like right in this area screw it taking it all off as one piece all right back deck is off get rid of this get rid of this gas tank i think i may go with a smaller gas tank on this next build but guys check this out i made the stupidest mistake i was filling up a gas tank i put in 20 dollars, and that's a six gallon tank it's a pretty big tank i was like okay so i won't fill it up i didn't know how much gas was in it but i was filling it up blindly and i see gas just shoot out and gas got all back in here and you see the paint back here is destroyed so i'll be taking all that off Probably have to repaint it. Okay, it's even taking off the original paint, the green. That sucks. Okay, let's get all this wiring off of here. Hopefully they mess up the wiring. The gas looks all right. That bilge pump is gonna stay there, but we need to go ahead and take off all of this because all this is gonna be moved. That goes to the transducer. Let's keep that in the boat because I'm not taking that off. It's gonna stay there, so might as well stay here in the boat. So I covered all these terminals in liquid tape and this stuff works amazing. So amazing that it's freaking impossible to get things off. God, Lee. No go is completely untouched. Fish finder, battery is free. I think that is it. There's a little grub. Okay, now we got these cords. Oh yeah, there's also an anchor light back here. I forgot about. Okay, so here is the John boat with everything taken out. It is completely back to normal. Looks pretty insane. So I still need to get out all this messed up paint here. But first I'm going to turn the boat around so it is downhill and spray it all down with the water hose and get all this crap out. This is the beauty of these light John boats. You can just move them around so easily. It's not every day you just spray your boat down with a water hose. All right, so I got the back all cleaned out. I washed it all out with Dawn. Got all the gas off of there. I, I even went with a sponge to get everything that was flaking off. That didn't do it. So then I went to a scraper and a sanding block. That did it. All these little flakes that you still see there are still solid. Those would not come off. I even sanded it and everything. They, that's still solid. So yeah, I wasn't really wanting to paint this sucker or do any painting, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Darn it. It sucks too because this gas spill just literally happened like a week ago all right the boat is sitting out in the sun it's gonna dry off while that dries off i'm gonna go put some glue on these boxes all right so i just spent about 30 minutes preparing all these spots that had the leaks i'm gonna let this sit out in the sun let that glue dry but i'm gonna use a drone to get some aerial shots of the drum boat 
and I will use these pictures to design the next build. All right, so we got all three boxes full. This one is good. This one has a leak there and right here. All good, no leaks. Got two completely waterproof. Need to work on this one a little bit more. Dang it. Still no water. Nope, we are good. Eee. So I got the three boxes done and waterproof. We got the pictures of the John boat. So now we can go inside, go on the computer and design a new build layout. And I'll show y'all how I'm gonna be doing that too. So let's head inside and go check it out. Okay, so here are all the photos I took from the drone footage. We also have more here if I need them. But my plan for this is, so I got the full view of the drone boat, but I also got a shot of the drone boat with the boxes in it. So what I'm gonna do is take these boxes, crop out the size of the boxes, just like so. Bam, so now we have the sizes of these boxes and I can move these boxes onto the picture of the John boat. There it is there. And we can control where we put the box. We could place another one, let's see, on this side. I'm just saying I can mess around with this on the computer and draw up anything I want and come up with plans and have the image and the exact size of my John boat and the boxes. So. Like I said, I have a trip to Dallas. I'll be in the hotel room at night. I will be probably messing around with this and just coming up with different designs, but that is how I'm going to do it. I know I want the trolling motor here and then the rod locker will be underneath that. So the rod locker will go all the way back to about here. Well, a seven foot five rod goes back to about here. So rod locker under the deck, it will go through these benches right here and then trolling motor on top of the deck right here. I also want to cut into this bench right here and throw a hatch on top of that as well. We're going to be going all out on this build, cutting in the benches, going crazy, adding a rod locker. It's going to be sick, but over the next few days while I'm not fishing, I'm going to be messing around with this design and hopefully by the time I come back home, I will have a design ready to go. But guys, if you have any ideas of what I should do, leave it in the comment below and I will definitely consider any design y'all have and also i will give you a shout out if i use your design or your idea so let me know in the comments below but guys i hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave a comment to win some of this stuff and i will catch y'all in the next video peace